All right, we're gonna continue with our bag. If you, if this is the first video you're seeing, I will link to the other videos for you. Um, you should have done your chain, and you just did your slip stitch to join it into a circle. We are going to be working counterclockwise, so you're always going to be going the stitch to your left. All right, so we are going to go ahead, and you should have one loop on your finger. We're going to yarn over, and we're going to chain one, just like we did before. Okay, now you are going to be working into these, um, let's see, into these top loops all the way around. Okay, until we get back to our first one again. All right, so you just first you're going to put your finger through the loop that's closest to your slip stitch. Then you're going to pull a piece of the bag through so you have a loop on two loops on your finger now. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull them off. Remember to give yourself plenty of slack. Looser is better in this case. Go through the next one. Pull some through so that you have a loop. Yarn over. Pull both loops off your finger. Keep going. Pull it through that loop. Yarn over. Pull the loops off the finger. Eventually, if you're getting the hang of it, you can just pull this all the way through instead of putting your fingers, instead of using your fingers to take off the loops. But when, while you're getting used to it, I would just pull the loops off with your other hand. And if you want to be picky, you can count your stitches and make sure you're having you have the right amount of stitches. But um, I'm honestly not too picky about this project. It just kind of you're not really real to see the stitches all too clearly, anyways. So there's my loop. And remember, keep everything loose. The tighter everything is, the harder it is <laughs> to get your fingers through. Sorry if you have a dirty mind and that made you chuckle. <laughs> Let's see. Through, pull the plastic through, yarn over, all over the loops. Pull the plastic through. Ah, stuck. There we go. Yarn over, pull over both loops. Pull the plastic through, yarn over, both loops. Alright, I still got about eight to go, I think. going around and if you want to fast forward I'm really just staying on here so that I can show you how to go into the tops of the single crochets once you've gotten all the way around but I don't really know how to edit my videos so <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going until I get to that point and then I will show you so sorry if this is taking so long I might edit it out later, or I might just let you watch me go. The more you watch it, the more you might be able to get a good idea of what's going on. Hold it up 
a little bit higher. Loosen that up. And if you need to hold, sometimes it helps to hold tension, and I just use my finger like that to hold the tension, and that can help sometimes to make things go more smoothly. But when you're pulling the loops over, you don't really need to do that as much. All right, so I hit my last loop. I'm yes. back over to my double crochets. So if you Yay. look, yes, sweetie. I'll help you in a minute, okay? All right, so we're back to our single crochets. We're almost done with this video. And if you look, you can look at the very top, and you'll see these two pieces that are kind of like arrows all the way across. You are going to be sticking your fingers underneath those two pieces to grab your yarn. All right, so. Sweetie, I'm almost done. All right, so you stick your fingers through, pull the piece through. We're just going to keep going and doing exactly what we were doing. Go to the next stitch, pull it through. Someone's impatient. All right, stick your fingers through. So that is how you're going to do the base of the bag. So just keep doing that around and around and around until your bag is as long as you want it to be. I would make it at least the length of, let's see, do I have a bag around here? At least the length of like the plastic bag when it's full and half lengthwise or longwise, the way we started, just that first fold. I would make it at least that long as the width, the width of it because then I will show you a neat way to roll up your plastic bags.